and today we're making la pasta la boscaiola the woodsman pasta is a healthy full of flavor meal that is ready in only 20 minutes So la pasta la boscaiola is not one of those recipes that people get totally fixated about following a specific ingredient list and methodology because it's more of like a flair like pasta. So there are two things that you need to have to make it la boscaiola, the woodsman pasta. The mushroom, because of course, as people go in the woods, they find mushrooms. And then you have to have some sort of pork meat. So you can have sausages. Today we're going to have guanciale, which I absolutely love. Then some nice herbs. We're going to be using thyme, but you can use bay leaves, you can use rosemary, you can just play along with it. And then, of course, some garlic, or you can use onions, we're using garlic today, tomato sauce, and we're going to feeling healthy tonight, so we're going to use whole grain pasta. I always tell myself, eat more whole grain, we're going to do that tonight. The first step, as always, when we're using guanciale, is to start cooking the guanciale, because it takes the longest to render down. Remember, guanciale, we want to have a delicate, slow cooking experience, so all the fat just dissipates into the pan, and we're gonna use that fat to flavor everything else. So we're gonna cook for two people, and then we're gonna have two slices of guanciale. When you're working with guanciale, make sure you take away the skin. So many videos I see people leaving the skin on. This is just gonna become chewy and very unpleasant to deal with, so this comes out. Depending on your love for pepper, you may also want to remove the top, I quite like pepper in this recipe, so I'm going to keep it. The guanciale, you just want to make it into little cubes. So, a few strips. And remember, this is going to render down quite a bit, so you don't really have to make tiny, tiny pieces, because the pieces will get smaller. With the guanciale, we then put it into our wok from cold. So the guanciale needs to warm up as the wok gets warmed up. Oops, some time came along, we don't want this now. And this goes into the fire with a very gentle flame. Now, for this recipe, the mushroom is, of course, the main ingredient. And I'm using oyster mushroom today. Ideally, if you're in Italy, if you're in season, porcini mushroom is the way to go. Porcini mushroom are meaty, they're full of flavor, absolutely fantastic. But I couldn't find them today. So I find the oyster mushroom to lack a little bit of that flavor that the porcini has, but has a lot of that meatiness. So in a sauce with pasta, I think it's great. And you can also play around, just maybe mix two or three different types of mushrooms, just get the flavor you enjoy. So preparation is just a quick wash. These ones, I mean, they're pretty much farmed, so they're already clean. And we're just gonna cut them coarsely, because mushrooms are full of water and they're gonna shrink. And the next thing to prep is the garlic. Today we're gonna to use elephant garlic that you know I love very much because it's very delicate and it's very easy to digest. It doesn't give you garlic breath. In fact, fun facts, elephant garlic is really more similar to an onion than a garlic. Anyway, we're gonna use this. We're probably gonna use half the clove And you just cut it into little pieces, that's all. And after about five, six minutes of gentle cooking, look at this, the guanciale has released all the fat into the pan. It's nice and crunchy. Now we're gonna remove the guanciale and we're gonna use the fat to flavor everything else. The heat is still set to low, and we put in the garlic. Make sure it doesn't burn. So you just want it golden. As soon as it goes brown, that's too late, my friends. So keep an eye on it. In the meantime, we open some white wine, some dry white wine. We got Bianco della Palomba from Umbria. And white wine is amazing to be able to take away some of that fattiness from your sauce. So, so when you use the guanciale fat, it's always good to put a little splash in it. Now you make sure 
all the alcohol has evaporated before you add the tomato and you know that the alcohol has evaporated when you don't have that tanginess in your nose when you put your face on top of it now we're going to put our herbs this is going to help infuse and our tomatoes splash of tomato water so we clean off the tin and because in this recipe there are no real rules if you want at this point you can add a hint of chili and of course you may ask yourself when do we cook the mushrooms that's a good question i had forgotten about the mushroom for some weird reason so we're gonna do it separately the time when you're supposed to really cook it is that once you have the guanciale fat that's when you put the garlic and that's when you put your mushrooms you get the mushroom to cook properly then you add the tomato sauce but okay no panic let's do it anyway so separate pan a little bit of olive oil one clove of garlic in camisha so we just break it up a bit and we put it in infuse and to this we add the mushrooms when you're cooking mushroom you want relatively medium to high heat because the worst thing you can do is to boil them because they've got quite a lot of water if you have low heat they're going to release the water and you're going to end up boiling the mushroom which is exactly what you don't want to do so high heat olive oil it would have been nice that we cooked this in guanciale grease but hey now you know next time let's put just a little bit more extra virgin olive oil once the mushroom begin to soften then we add the salt and on medium high heat after a while the mushrooms become to caramelize and the caramelized part is full of flavor in the meantime we've got here gentle simmer our sauce and because all of this happens very quickly the water is on as soon as it's bubbling we add the pasta and once your mushrooms are looking like this we take away the garlic and we put this in the sugar Give it a good mix. And here we continue with the gentle simmer. So once your sugo is quite dry like now, we fish out our thyme and we switch off the fire and salt it. So today we're going to use this wholemeal rigatoni from Rummo. I think they make some amazing wholemeal pasta and it's a little bit more healthy for you. So let's do it. We've got water boiling, salt the water, and the rigatoni going 100 grams per person. Two minutes left to go on the pasta. We transfer it to our sauce. A splash of cooking water and we give this a mix. And allowing your pasta to finish cooking in the sauce, slowly adding cooking water, allows to create that creaminess that we're all so fond on, and the creaminess that you always get at Italian restaurants, but for some reason you never get at home, and it's because they do this. And now at the end, a spoonful of heavy double cream. Oh, this is looking amazing and the smell is fantastic now we add our guanciale last mix and la boscaiola is ready to be plated this is smelling amazing in honor of all our woodsmen mm. oh Mmm, can't wait to eat it all. What up, Adido?